Well, today I went down to Scorgan's Gun Supply and picked up my 6.8 Western. And uh, so it's the XPR in the Midnight Tungsten, I think is what it's called. Um, I really like it. It's uh, I like the pattern, I like the color. But uh, I'm about to uh, throw my scope on here. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a look at what it looks like before I throw all that on there. And then I'll... Uh, get back to you when I get all done, because I'm not sure YouTube wants you seeing how I do all this stuff. So anyway, we'll uh, see you after a bit. Well, it's a couple days later. I I did get this put together, and I just uh, got occupied with something else and didn't finish things up uh, with the video at home. But uh, here it is, the 6.8 Western, and uh, it's the Winchester XPR in the... Midnight Tungsten, I believe, is what it's called, and it uh, <laughs> it looks pretty dang good. I I uh, got, have already gotten some crap about having a a Blackhound scope on it, but because um, some people don't care for them, I don't know. But it just so happens it matches my hat. So <laughs> um, anyway, that's. Uh, that's what she looks like. The bolt runs good. The trigger's nice. I haven't uh, tested it, which maybe I'll do right now. Um, let's see. I'll get set up and we'll do a trigger test and uh, run the bolt and stuff like that so you can see how that works and we'll get right back to you. Okay, well let's have a closer look at this thing. Um, I got my trigger gauge right here and we'll just... Uh, Run this bolt and the bolt is pretty pretty smooth. It's not too bad. Um, of course, I'm not familiar with the Tikas and stuff like everybody talks about how great they are. I have no idea. I've never had one, but it works pretty good. I, I did. If you do the drop test, it works good. As far as that goes, it's smooth enough. So let's see what the trigger is on. It's about, it's a little heavy. It's about four and a half pounds on that first pull. Let's do another one. Four and a half pounds. So, yeah, I could probably take this apart, and I, I think it's, I don't know, I don't think these are adjustable actually, but maybe they're off to check into it. I can't remember. But um, anyway, it, uh, and of course, if you know these, it, this is your bolt release button here, and uh, they come with the three lug design, and they're they are in a 60, 60 degree bolt throw too, so which is nice. Um, I do like that. It has no interference with this scope at all. And uh, this one, this scope has the black hound on it. It's got the 44 millimeter um, objective end on it, lens on it. So it, and they, there is, I mean, it, it's basically perfect for this setup. So, um, that well that's pretty much covers it um i love the love the stock and they, they have a really nice soft uh butt pad as well too because this 6.8 is going to kick a bit more than my 6.5 prc um but i don't expect it to be much so i guess that's about it we'll uh get this thing out to the range and do some shooting Okay, so I got the 6.8 Western out here. Gonna run the first shots through it. I'm gonna see if I can get my chronograph working. And uh, we'll run some 6.8 Western down the pipe and see how she goes. I got the target set up at 100 yards down there, so we'll be firing away here shortly. Okay, I got three of the 165 grain ABLRs loaded up and ready to fire. Okay. Going hot.
entire board in there. Twenty-nine fifty-seven on the velocity. Twenty nine seventy four point nine. Twenty nine sixty five point eight. Yeah, I'll run some of these one sixty two grains in there with <clears throat> all copper. I'm just going to run a couple of those. Twenty eight seventy eight. Twenty eight sixty. Okay, I'll go down and get the target. We'll just see where they were hitting, and I'll have to make some adjustments, I'm sure. Um, but they were on paper, so. Well, I'm back from the range, and uh, as it turns out, I didn't uh, get any grouping with my shooting because uh, I was I didn't realize it, but I was hitting low just in front of the my target. And what I was seeing through the scope was some ricochet because I have one on spotter, you know, um, targets. So it looked like I was hitting, but I wasn't. So I'm going to have to dial it up. But I ran out of time. I'm just trying to fit this in during my lunch. So, um, but I ran out of time. So I um, did get five shots down. And uh, the Acubon ABLRs, they, they uh, I mean, the, I think the advertised, uh, here it is right here. They were 29.70, and um, I'll have to look back on it, but I know they were like 29.60, something like that. And then the Copper Impacts, I shot a couple of those, and they are advertised at 28.75, and uh, I know my last shot registered 28.60. I don't remember what the other one was, but uh, I'll put it in the numbers in the description. And uh, so pretty, so this thing was shooting just about what the uh, advertised velocity is supposed to be so and the ammunition was right on so it's just a matter of me uh, seeing how well it groups now but uh, first initial thoughts are um, this thing I mean it doesn't hardly kick much more than the 6.5 PRC as far as I could tell um, which is great because I like that that's why I just I quit shooting my 7 mag because it was just a hammer um, wasn't that much fun to shoot anymore and when you're doing YouTube videos, you end up doing a lot of shooting. So, uh, anyway, this is, to me, this is perfect. The Black Hound worked good. Um, no issues with that. Uh, just, uh, and it's just a 14 power. It would be nice to have a little more power. But that, that thing sets pretty, 
pretty good on there, so I, I'm happy with that. And it's just got the uh, three round mags, and uh, they worked flawlessly. Everything worked good. So um, the only other thing I would have to talk about right now is um, <clears throat> is I did uh, use the new chronograph graph I got, and this happens to just be a dry box that I had, and uh, and I had some foam. Of course, if you guys get guns delivered or whatever, you always end up with some foam. So I just made a little dry box, a container to hold it and protect it, and that actually worked pretty good too. So, um, but really happy with that chronograph. It uh, it just it had to be right on the money and uh, worked good. Didn't have any misses. I only shot five shots, but every one of them registered perfectly. And um, I just had it set back from the edge of the barrel about, I would say maybe 10 inches and about seven inches to the right of the barrel. And it's supposed to be between with between five and 15, it said. So um, worked perfect. So the only thing I got to do now is get this thing out and do some group shooting and see how these things, um, how I can dial them in. So I have high hopes. And, and I'm just tickled to have this thing. Um, I know there's some people waiting out there just to uh, see how this thing shoots. And, uh, of course, the main thing is how accurate is it. So that, that's coming down the road. So, But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll have some more of the 6.8 Western content coming soon um, when I can fit it in. And uh, anyway, I just love this thing. I like the looks of it. Uh, feels good. Shoots good. Uh, we're just hoping it's accurate. So anyway, thanks for watching Montana Musings Outdoor Channel and we'll see you in the next video.